Every year during the Mid-Autumn Festival, my family gathers around the table to indulge in mooncakes. Mooncakes are like works of art. One of the most popular types of mooncakes is the one with the salted egg yolk in the middle, covered with a sweet lotus paste and encased in a golden dough, then finally molded with the most intricate and beautiful designs. We'd cut them into quarters and we'd bet on which slice would have the most yolk and then we'd fight for it. They're rich, sweet, savory, and made with lots of hard work and love. I even remember as a small girl thinking that they were too beautiful to eat. One year, my mom had given me a mooncake to bring to school to share with my friends. I remember thinking that I would eat it alone during recess because I was too scared to share my culture. I didn't want to share these traditions that others would find strange. But as I sneakily took it out of my backpack, my friend turned to me excitedly and told me it was the prettiest thing they had ever seen. She wanted to try it. My face lit up and we shared the mooncake and I began to tell her all about the legend of Chang'e the Chinese goddess of the moon. Now, maybe you've never seen mooncakes before. Maybe you're remembering that the first time you learned about mooncakes was when you were sitting in front of the TV watching Wendy Wu, Homecoming Warrior on Disney Channel. Either way, you're about to see how to make these beautiful mooncakes and how they came to be an iconic part of the Mid-Autumn Festival from the famous ancient Chinese myth. The legend goes that a Chinese archer named Ho Yi shot down nine suns from the sky, leaving just one, saving the world from being scorched. And after his courageous act, he was given an elixir of immortality from heaven. Ho Yi's wife Chang'e drank the elixir, which caused her to become so light, she floated all the way to the moon with nothing but her rabbit companion. Some iterations of the story say that Chang'e drank the elixir as an attempt to keep it away from Ho Yi's wicked apprentice while Ho Yi was out hunting. Ho Yi began to prepare a feast each year on the day when the moon was at its fullest in honor of his wife who he missed, hoping to see her shadow on the moon. And this feast included mooncakes, a traditional treat eaten during the mid-autumn festival even till this day. But not everyone shared mooncakes as a treat of love and admiration. It was once reported that the treats became popular during the Yuan Dynasty, when the cakes were reportedly used as paywall, essentially a vessel to deliver secret notes to assist Han Chinese in overthrowing the Mongolian rulers of the time. The Mid-Autumn Festival is traditionally celebrated on the 15th day of the 8th month, which is supposedly the night the moon is at its fullest and brightest. Each country celebrates in their own special ways. In Vietnam, the festival is considered Children's Day, with celebrations including paper lantern fairs and lion dance parades. In southern China, many people eat autumn fruits like pomelos and star fruit as well as lighting lanterns. Certain villages in Hong Kong keep up a tradition of fire dragon dancing throughout narrow alleys. In South Korea, the festival lasts three days and is used as a time to sweep ancestors' tombs and wear traditional garb. In Japan, people eat grilled sticky rice balls while partaking in moon viewings. And in Taiwan, people have barbecues and admire the moon. Nowadays, you'll see families exchanging mooncakes of all sorts of flavors. The traditional lotus seed paste with salted egg yolk, red bean, nuts, custard, green tea, chocolate, and many more. Families gather and have a feast with lots of food, fruits, and desserts. And while everyone has different ways of celebrating Mid-Autumn Festival, family is always at the center. The festival is filled with joy and laughter, sharing special traditions, admiring the moon, and of course sharing mooncakes. And while some people may find mooncakes strange or unappetizing, they're always gonna be special to me. It was once a food I was too embarrassed to share because I was ashamed of my culture. I was ashamed of myself, but not anymore. I love being able to share mooncakes with my friends and family and telling them about old Chinese legends and the traditions that come with it. I love that mooncakes remind me to be proud of my heritage. And I love that mooncakes are little beautiful works of art that you share with your friends and family you love so much, the most special people in your life. And I hope you get to enjoy some mooncakes this year. Happy Mid-Autumn Festival. <laughs>